Folks living in parts of North Carolina, South Carolina, and Tennessee are going to be hearing plenty of gunfire and may even see some flares falling from the sky for the next couple of weeks. Don't worry though, there's no actual combat. It's just the next crop of U.S. Army Special Forces candidates trying to earn their Green Berets. The Robin Sage exercise is the final test for soldiers in the Special Forces Qualifications course at the U.S. Army JFK Special Warfare Center and School at Fort Liberty, formerly Fort Bragg in North Carolina. It's basically finals week, only instead of all-night study sessions, the approximately 100 or so Special Forces students will participate in a simulation to help guerrilla fighters in their fictitious war against the oppressive powers of Pineland. The Special Forces candidates can't do the exercise alone, though, so the Army hires people who live in the area to play the parts of guerrilla fighters and opposition forces. The future Green Berets are tasked with training and advising the guerrilla fighters in things like weapons handling, communications, field medicine, and demolition. The idea behind the exercise is for the soldiers to equip the guerrillas with everything they need to fight for their independence. Robin Sage is considered the U.S. military's premier unconventional warfare exercise. It spans more than two dozen counties in North Carolina and dips a little into South Carolina and Tennessee as well. The Army says it works diligently to coordinate the exercise with local law enforcement and residents. That way, no one is caught unaware and wondering why a hundred or so special operators are traipsing through the North Carolina backcountry with a couple hundred guerrilla fighters as well. Once Robin Sage is complete, and if the Special Forces candidates prove to their evaluators they have what it takes to graduate, the candidates will earn their coveted berets and be assigned to one of the Army's Special Forces units. This round of Robin Sage is scheduled to run through February 1st.